guys, welcome to Vapescape UK. I am Dazza78, despite what the voices tell me, and we're here today to talk about the Ghost MV1. Now, I've been holding off doing this video for a little while for various reasons. Uh, we had people in Scape Manor doing a bit of work that slowed things down. I was also waiting, hopefully, to get a beta of the app. It didn't quite pan out. I didn't. I didn't manage to get my hands on it. I also wanted to switch over to the good camera. I got a really nice camera, mic, everything, waiting to go. What can I say? Hopefully next week, and we will, we will revisit. But we're going to look today at the MV1 regular, and the MV1 slightly stupid. Which is the limited edition, which my wife really likes. It's badass. Let me just slip that out of the way. Okay. And I am bussing the movie shirt. For those that know, and for those that don't, fuck you. No, for those for those that don't, it's uh, I was talking to someone about my Got Christ hoodie, and I said, yeah, I got my wife the movie shirt. We've been rocking this shit for years. Right, you open up. That's how it looks on the inside. So you've got ghost, 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 and you've got the green and the black, which you've got the green silicone in the actual machine, so it's sort of like a running theme. You've got the MV1, that's the satin silver. I've got both of my models of black chrome. And then you've got some happy hipsters enjoying their happy hipster life. You fucking happy hipsters. With your skinny jeans and your women's boots. What's wrong with baggy jeans and Nikes? Fucking movie shirts. That's that one. Now, slightly stupid. You've got the ghost logo. You've got the slightly stupid skull. You open it up. <laughs> I've got nothing against hipsters. I'm just playing. But I really like that one. That's, fucking, that's a really fucking cool piece of art. I think that's nice. And you've got the that's foam. You've got the, in the in the other one in the green and black, the standard piece of foam is like the ghost logo. Here you've got the so slightly stupid skull and this nice piece of artwork. Also, and that's how it comes on the back of the slightly stupid. You get the cool fucking reflective logo. That's nice. In there you have quick start guide. Which, if you're unfamiliar with it, you haven't been following, you will want to look at this because the vape itself, the operation, is one button, sequence of presses with lights on an interface. So you're going to need to learn that. It don't take long. You'll learn it by the second time of using. All right, let me cut this out. The sleeve comes out, and underneath you've got a USB cable and accessories packet. I'm going to touch that accessories packet. As I said, this is a limited edition, and I'm lucky to get one before they drop, before release. Really lucky. Uh, I was really, really hooked up, uh, looked after. It was my birthday, in more ways than one. That goes back in there, and that stays in there. And uh, let me just show you as it was shown to me, because <laughs> I thought it was kind of cool. You ready? I had my thumb in the way. I, f I fucking stooged myself. There you go. what happens when you ghost before you and I've got to keep that limited edition mint my wife likes that one mint because it's limited edition accessories pack you get three of these ghost picks which we'll come back to so you get one crucible in the chamber of the actual vape you get another crucible with a liquid pad lid and you get these little half sized cotton swabs and they're only half size because with this vape uh, you don't need to get in them guts it all comes to you you don't need to get in the gubbins it all comes to you it's really easy we'll get to cleaning so you get your liquid pad and your second crucible I would have actually liked to seen a spare glass stem especially before the accessories are all live and everything if you break your glass stem you're going to be really uh, you're not going to be a happy bunny and then you're going to need to medicate, and you're not going to be able to use your MV1. The pick. 
The pick is plastic. You get three of them. Some people may not like it because it's plastic. It's functional. As long as everything's cool, you can't cool down, it's not hot. It's a very functional pick. Some other companies, they give you a nice metal pick, but it's not, uh, it's not functional. When you want to get into your, your holes, I find that I use my universal pick, thanks to VC, than, than any others, but the ghost one does fit the little holes on the back of the crucible, so you can unclog it if it gets clogged. It even fits the little tiny holes on the top of there. Okay. Pick. Ghost. You get this from me first. You get this from Vapescape UK. There's a 7 8. We've had a face to face. I know you're on the level. But as a really, really just throw away, if you're going to do a special edition or anything like that, you get this pick. When I see this, do you know what I see? One side the bird cage, one side the bird. And you spin. One side the window, one side the ghost. You spin, you get the ghost in the window. That would be so fucking cool. Come on. That would be, but you heard that from me. I don't want to get ripped off, and other companies ripped me off for ideas. I know Ghost wouldn't do that. Listen, forget the hat. I don't work for Ghost. I'm not a Ghost salesman. I don't sell for Ghost. By the end of the videos, I'm probably going to sound like a salesman for Ghost because I really like this product and I really believe in this product. And in fact, if they offered me a job, I would take it tomorrow because I would love to work for a company where their entry level vape is this. How good is it really? We'll get to that. How good I think it is, but how good is it really at what it does? There's ways to see that. The proof is in the pudding, and we will get there. So that's what comes in. Oh, I almost forgot. You get three of these little 70% alcohol wipes in there as well. Only three on this one. And instead of these, I would prefer to have a brush. Because Q-tips are throwaway, aren't they? You know, your brush is going to last longer. It's more substantial, and you've got like the, the the snap ones. You know, have you seen them where they got the little bit of ISO in, and you snap them, and the ISO runs down into the the cotton swab? They're really handy, but they're not them. So, but it's early days. It's entry level, and the pack of accessories will be available to buy. And things don't have to stay the same. Yeah, nothing has to stay the same. Isn't that uh, some if you're willing to play the game or some shizzle? I don't know. Maybe. So, and you get the USB cable for charging. If you order through Vapes, uh, Ghost Vapes, and you're in the first thousand to order, and if you order from VC Vape Critic, and you're in the first thousand to order, you'll get one of these. Fast chargers by Ghost. It is the official Ghost product, and you'll get one of those for free. If you're in the second 2000, I think you get one half price, but you need to check check that. And that's what you get in the box. Okay, guys, we're back with the MV1 Ghost entry level vape. Here it is. I'm not going to try and do a conversion plus shipping and taxes and all that. It's retailing for $295 for this one. It is a portable on demand convection vaporizer for dry herb and concentrates. I don't actually have any concentrates at the moment. I'm trying to link some. But look. I've got a lovely house. I've got beautiful children. Uh, I've got a really sexy Asian wife. I ain't got no link for concentrates. That's what's fucking wrong with the world. Tyler Green. I need that TNG botanical hookup. The hookup. Not the hooker. Not the hooker. I've got one of these. I don't need a pipe. This will do me. Right. I'm rambling. 
and I can see creases in my shirt, which I'm not overly happy about, but we've started. On demand is what it is. It means the vapor's there, you press the button and it comes on, you take your finger off the button, it goes away. Convection. It's heating, but not heating so much, it's vaporizing your herb through drawing in cool air, supercharging it with heat, pushing that through the herb, the heat through the heated air through the herb, and then inhaling it. That's convection. It's not in a chamber that's heating up and that's heating up your herb, like in a conduction vape. It's not conducting heat through it, it's convecting heat through hot air. It's not coming into anything hot, coming into contact with hot other than the air. Which is pretty cool. There's other convection vapes, portable convection vapes on the market. This is the best. Firefly 2. Grasshopper potent. Grasshopper is potent. I'm not going to deny that. It will also burn the shit out of your lips. So to me it's not really portable. Because it is portable but it's, I'm not taking that out. Because I'm not taking it anywhere. I ain't got a piece of glass to, to use that through. Because I fucking hate those silicone, I'll use it on the piece, you've got to use it on the piece. But I hate those silicone fucking slips. The Grenco one's the same. What the fuck, why make it that colour? Look, that's medical grade silicone. It doesn't have to be that shitty translucent sort of whitey colour that just stains the fuck up and just looks shitty. It looks so cheap and shitty, there's no need for it. Really no need for it. And it's a shame, uh, because... Different colour on that would really improve uh, improve the aesthetics, in my opinion. The difference, just quickly, between this and this. This is my favourite high-end portable conduction vaporizer, and this is the difference. This one, I press a button, take a draw, take my finger off the the heater, clicks off, and I can put it down. Your wife calls you because she don't stop. Well, in my case, my wife is lovely and she don't. She does. But she watches the channel. So she don't. She's lovely. And in fact, I wouldn't call her my other half. I'd call her my better half. Anyway, so you go and see what your wife wants. You come back and this herb in here is exactly as you left it. Exactly as you left it. It hasn't deteriorated, you can, and you're back where you left it. This one, click it on, have a few drawers, wife calls you, so you either put it down or you click it off. When you come back to it, it's not the same as as you've left it. It's deteriorated or it's changed. You probably missed the sweet spot that you was looking for because on most conduction vapes, there's a sweet spot that you like to vape at everyone has their own I, I know I have mine especially on this vape I can dial it into the degree I'm not picking on this vape I love this vape I have two of them these aren't apple and oranges they're apples and apples let me try and explain this one is an apple from the fruit bowl and you take a bite and it's a delicious fresh apple or off the tree from the fruit bowl delicious fresh apple Smells like apple, tastes like apple, juicy, sweet, everything an apple should be, and it's delicious. This is like you took apples and you baked them. And when you bake them, it still smells like apple, but it's different. It tastes like apple, it's still delicious, but it's different. It's different. They're still appellacious, but they're apple in different ways. This is a fresh apple, this is a, like a baked apple. It, it alters the structure, it alters uh, the terpene, it alters everything. This is really, especially on the bottom three temperatures, it's flavor on all temperatures, but on the bottom three temperatures settings, it's like a bite of apple, or a bite of Gorilla Glue. I can have Gorilla Glue number four in here, Gorilla Glue number four in here, but when I, it's different. I'm not saying one's better, one's worse. They both have their place, and I enjoy both of them. I absolutely enjoy both of them. 
But there is a difference, a huge difference, and that's what I'm getting at today. This one and this one are both, I would say, in my opinion, people will shoot me down, people will argue. This is the best pocket size portable conduction vape you can get with flavor, swap out batteries, everything, fucking smart path, apps. God knows what else, but what I really like is the temperature control and the flavour on this. This is the best, in my opinion, portable convection vaporizer, And it has huge advantages. Huge online, online? Oh, on-demand convection has huge, huge, huge advantages. As I said, away, come back. There's my sweet spot. I didn't miss it. Because when I miss it on this one, I'm like, Sake, what do you have to call me now for? Fuck, I'm gonna miss my fucking herb. And if I try and have another one, serenade. That's not how my wife sounds. She'll kill me for that. What are you doing out there? Oh, I'm for, put it for fuck's sake, I'm missing that terpene. You go, you come back, and you're like, I fucking knew it. I might as well repack that fucking bowl now. Fuck, you gotta call me for right when I'm having my fucking vape. But this one, Dazza, yes, darling, pip, pip, what, 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 anything for you, my love, what, what. And then I come back and I'm, it does make a difference, it does, because I'll get fucking pissed off when I switch that on and I put my feet up, all right, and I've got to put it down because it ruins my session vape. This is different, see. Go, come back. Don't matter. It's just as nice. Really good. And I think that is, I think I'm covering now, the main difference is convection conduction. And I love the chip for